if you're an avid skier or into motocross or the like, over time you're going to run into the issue probably where your goggles will actually start to uh, delaminate with the foam coming off the actual frame of the goggle. And uh, there's several ways you can actually go about fixing this, but there's really only one safe way. Um, you're going to want to go with an adhesive that's actually not going to damage the foam by eating it. So that's one of the problems with most super glues is that they'll just straight up eat the foam away. Um, so you're going to want to go with something that's foam safe. And while it's also um, it needs to be foam safe, it needs to be flexible because as you put your goggles on, you want to make sure that over time um, you're going to get that flexibility that you need without cracking the actual glue after the bonding process. Um, in addition, you're going to want to stay away from any glue that is water-based because if you ski, you're around moisture all the time. So um, any dampness that you get in the frame up top with snow getting up here, eventually um, that's going to wear, uh, wear away that bond. So uh, we recommend going with Bob Smith's flexible foam glue. It comes in two sizes, a one fluid ounce bottle and a four fluid ounce bottle. Um, for my preference, I would recommend going with a four ounce fluid bottle, not because you need it or need all that glue, but it's the easiest to grip out of the smaller one because you just have to put more strain on the bottle to get the glue out. So anyway, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually apply this glue to the goggle. Um, and we'll go about it. It's actually a pretty easy process. You just have to be careful about how you apply it. Um, as you can see, it is kind of stringy. Um, it has the same type of texture that a hot glue gun would have, but it's not hot. It's cool. And the curing time is about anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. So that allows you to actually fix any issues that may arise as you apply it. So anyway, um, here we go. We'll just simply get the glue at the very bottom of the bottle and I will just simply squeeze in and you got to be careful because it does come out fast at times if you squeeze, squeeze too hard and I'm just simply putting around the frame and as you can see it's stringy and I spilled it. Okay so then you just want to simply press it down and let it set up. Uh, the nice thing about this foam glue is it does not expand when you apply it. So you're not going to run into that issue like with Gorilla Glue that just gets super messy after uh, the application. And it's always good to have a little tiny rag nearby. But um, yeah, you just simply apply it into the region that you need to fix. Push down. Um, and then adjust anywhere where you need to actually move it around. So because this does have a 15 to 30 minute cure period, you do have time to fix your mistakes and uh, adjust. So, get that into the nose. And when this glue does actually adhere and dry, um, it does become quite strong. I mean, you'll just need to know where you're applying so you can actually make sure that the foam lines up correctly. Hopefully you don't have full delamination like I did um, with the frame. You just have a corner or something like that that's coming apart so that's easy to line up. But um, you want to make sure that you do apply, apply the foam where it needs to be so it matches up so you get this the proper fit and yeah that's basically it um, it's going to take several tries of course or applications to get your foam to be perfect again against the frame and that's just normal with any project like this uh... But yeah, that's basically it. Um, we sell it, like I mentioned, in two sizes, a uh, one ounce and a four ounce bottle. And the four ounce is the way to go, in my opinion, for a job like this, just because uh, the small bottles, unfortunately, do not um, have the best shape for a project like this. So 
Anyway, um, as you can see, I'll show you a finished product of what it looks like. I mentioned that I had full delamination from my goggles, and I applied this adhesive, the Bob Smith Foam Cure, um, all the way through the top of my goggle, and it is firmly back into place, no burning of the foam, um, perfect. So one of the things I did learn is that, you know, any white residue or clear residue that you do have after your application will dry clear, um, but once it dries, it's going to be extremely difficult to actually remove it. So just make sure that you actually remove it when you're applying the glue uh, to the frame on the first go around. So anyway, have a great one. Thanks for watching this Model Merchants video, and uh, don't forget to check out modelmerchants.com. Um, and please do remember, if any of this video was helpful today, please hit like, uh, share it. Um, there are some coupons that we have that we'll link in the comment and description section below. So definitely like that, share that. Um, we just want to get the knowledge out there. And, uh, you know, please stay tuned. They're always changing. So, uh, so definitely check back with us and uh, happy modeling.